What's up guys, my name is Bozi and I'm a full-time freelance Shopify developer. Since I really like to challenge myself, I stumbled upon this really stupid idea of coding my very own Shopify theme, completely from scratch. This experience will be a lot of fun, full of learnings, wins and especially a lot of fails and misery. I would be really happy if you would be part of this journey and without further ado, let's jump right in. Or how do you do like Welcome to the very first day of my journey. On this day, I focused heavily on creating the fundamental architecture of the theme and started with the basics. First, I created a Shopify store so I can test the theme with information and data later. Then I opened Visual Studio Code to create a completely blank theme folder to start from scratch. I created the six main folders a Shopify theme must have to function properly. Assets to store CSS, JavaScript and other assets. Config to create and save global theme settings. Layout for the theme layouts, locales for translating the theme, sections to create and store all sections the merchant can use to build the store, snippets for smaller reusable components, templates where all the templates like product, collection, blog, etc. are stored. The absolute base for our theme is the theme liquid where we also render the content for header and content for layout. Since we want to differentiate between the normal theme and a the password page, we also created a password link. Then I got to the first tedious task. I had to manually write all the templates into the template folder. So I had to create, for example, the product template, collection template, homepage, etc. I also had to keep in mind that I create these files in JSON format to keep making use of the online store 2.0 and sections everywhere feature of Shopify. Since these templates don't work properly without having a section, I also created a basic section with basic settings for all of these templates to render, you guessed it, absolutely nothing inside of it. As you can see, you can see nothing. And of course we cannot forget the iconic gift card liquid. Like, watch this. Gift card liquid. Bruh, gift card liquid is the most random thing I ever saw. Look at this. Like, no, man. That's really ugly. To later be able to configure the theme and its global settings in the theme editor, I also created the settings schema JSON and settings data JSON. For the locales and therefore the theme translations, I entered basic translations for the settings and no real translations yet. In the last step, I connected the theme to a repository on GitHub, which marks the end of the very first day. Yay, we have it. Ooh. All right. On the second day, I found out about a checklist for theme developer, so they know what to check while developing a theme that helped a little bit for the roadmap. Then I proceeded to implement a basic contact page, custom liquid section and blog, and the section groups for the header and footer. While creating the settings for the shop logo, it was the first time I realized that this will be a huge underestimated project but look for yourself all right all right let's start in where we left off the last time so let's just go over this and check what we can do so here we check this and we already have this so we did the theme liquid for for art blah blah blah, blah. page oh page contact json page contact json sections Page contact is just the contact. Okay, page contact, password, product, search, gift card, setting schema, we also did this. So we have everything created in JSON, so that's fine. Themes must include a custom liquid section. So we should create a custom liquid section. Start here, custom liquid. Yo, what's up, Mr. Lamp? How was your day? What was your gold nugget of the day? Mr. Lamp with the lamp. I guess like the custom liquid is pretty easy, you just give this section some settings and this one setting should be of the type, I think, is it liquid? Like ID, liquid. Oh, by the way, we start our first section. Section settings, liquid. So before we can add sections to somewhere for the online shop 2.0, I don't get it why, but we have to Put the presets in here quick preset with a name that's enough because then we can create the section dynamically okay so now we have the custom liquid section also we have the setting as we like implemented here already and now we can just like write stuff here perfect so we have this already we can check this header and footer sections must be rendered within section groups so let's just create the footer and header group header groups JSON, footer group JSON. So I just copy this example for the header group. We also have to create the header, header 
liquid. We don't want settings, we don't want presets for now. We do the same for the footer. We have the type is footer to use it later. Then we have the footer group as just the name. The footer section is our footer section. Oh yeah, we have to obviously render it. So we put this in here and the footer group is below the content for layout obviously oh no it worked so we have this awesome block and app block support requirements of the product page let's go to the product page we have the product main we want to do like blocks let's just do product price product vendor and product description should each be individual blocks within the main product section type is price name is price then settings I just like we don't need settings yet the vendor and what did they say description render the blocks in the order they are in the theme later so it's like a switch statement basically just like in liquid type app render block when price for vendor and description Price, we render the product price. We do this later on for sure to do create price snippet. We just show the product vendor, and here we just show the product description. And then we end the case. Little fun fact if you didn't know, like sometimes I put a dash, sometimes I don't put a dash. So here, it's like it makes a big difference if you put like a dash or not because the dash removes the white space it can get messed up so always like this when i don't want to like mess with the white space i just remove the dashes all right so the product main we can add a blog we can add a price so the vendor and the product description okay that's good so it works we have this introduce custom liquid blocks into certain sections custom liquid so we need settings of type liquid. We have to do custom liquid. Can we now? Okay, custom liquid is also here. We can just like test it, custom liquid. Yes, so works. Custom liquid also works. Working like a charm. But also it says here on the featured product section. So featured product liquid. And let's just add the presets already so we can choose it later. Let's go back to the home page. Can we put a feature product? We can put a feature product section. All right, what should go into the header? We want like have a logo. We want to have like a link list for like the menu. So this will be like a big thing. We want to have, let's just try it. We have a header with header, I guess. It says settings is required, so we put like this right and now we put type is image picker because we want to upload a logo yay we have the header we have the logo and we want to of course like render it right now so just like call this header for now image source is settings let's just do it really basic for now and of course settings logo is not blank because when it's blank something else should happen obviously we want to just put an href with what they say is the routes root url so the so with a click on this link you just like come back to the home page obviously oh and we also want to have this put it around as a wrapper and here's the shop name is it i think Oh wow, so we have the thing. Yeah, so it's like a lot of things I have to think about now. <laughs> oh yes, you will. On the third and last day of the week, I added more of the basics to the theme. The main aspect was creating our first CSS file and adding some basic CSS. Then I went ahead and created a basic header menu along with basic styles and icons. In the last step, I added basic typography and font style settings to the menu. You see, it's a lot of basic stuff, but I think we need that for a good foundation. So yeah, enjoy! Yeah, we created a main CSS style sheet then first and then check if it's working. Oh yeah, it's already doing main CSS. Okay, awesome. So this is working. So what we can do now, we can give a logo width. All right, it works now. And we do the same for mobile because maybe you want to have like different widths. 
a little bit smaller. We will see how this will work out. So the thing is we can just like point the CSS at this section by using the unique identifier. It's always the same. It's basically the ID is Shopify dash section dash and then the section ID of that section. You use the section ID of that section to give the specific value to that section and then they don't overwrite each other. And we give this the width of the in pixels. Yes, awesome. We dynamically gave like the width to the logo, which is working, perfect. And we do the same for like, media x width is 767. Yay, works. This logo, image tag, logo like in the middle. On the right we have like the card and, and stuff. And then on the left side we have like the menu. So we go to the header CSS, just for now. Header is display. I love flex, I don't like grid. I'm just for content is base between. Of course, put the style sheet into the header. Let's do it just like here. Let's do center for now. Okay, so we have this. So we want to give the header a settings type of link list. I think it was linked list. So yeah, here's the menu. Awesome. Let's get the main menu for link in. Section settings menu links. We do an h ref to link URL, and here is link title. Yes, looks good. UL for now. And here we do an li li close. Let's try this. Align center. Gap of 20 pixel. Also, can I just like use icons? Copy the element and then put it here. Or like put it in an icons folder. We can also build an icons folder. Let's do it right now. Question, why not build on top of Dawn? Also from Germany. Guten Tag. I want to do like everything from scratch, even if it takes like a year or so. But I just want to do it once all by myself to like understand everything behind the theme and how to do it, you know? So we have a icons liquid because we we could just like take this and case when part in case and, uh, icons with cards icons we can put like a wrapper i think this would be like a thing just like a icon wrapper or something which is like always the same size i can wrapper like this i can wrapper roots put the cart url for now and we have a customer account account and search we ruthlessly copy elements from the internet copy element same. so we have this then we can put i can wrapper i can wrapper customer and with search please install shopify liquid in your vs extensions do me the favor i think i have this i have this oh it's disabled oh <laughs> thanks i will use this now yay we did stuff we can click oh and mobile of course i think we have a header let's do like basic setting schema stuff typography Type is like a font picker, right? Okay, font, base font. And we want, of course, a range heading font size. Let's get this all going in our CSS variables. So have to change it here again, heading. Yay, we have it. As you can see, you can see something right now. That was it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to find out more about me or Shopify development in general, you can check out the description where you can find a link to my Twitch channel. Yes, I stream all of this. Or in my Discord community, just like to hang out or ask questions and stuff. So yeah, see you next time and have a good day. Bye-bye.